Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Star Wars Vintage Collection Wedge Antilles. Wedge Antilles comes on the awesome vintage style packaging that looks like it comes right out of the old Kenner days. The back of the packaging's got an image of Wedge Antilles from Return of the Jedi and shows some of the other figures available in the vintage collection. Alright, so let's take a look at Wedge out of the packaging. First up, let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt on this guy, which is a pretty great likeness to the actor that portrayed Wedge Antilles in the films. He's also sporting that awesome 70s style parted haircut. It's a great head sculpt all the way around. Now the figure is wearing that traditional X-Wing pilot uniform, so it's the nice bright orange and he's got the black gloves on. And you can see he's got the little harness that kind of goes down and wraps around his legs there. It's a great looking sculpt and I really love how over the years Hasbro has upped the ante on these X-Wing pilots. The detailing and everything on these has just gotten so good over the years. So before we get into his cool accessories, why don't we go and take a look at the articulation on this guy. One of the great things about this vintage collection is they're making these great sculpted figures but also feature some really good articulation. So his head is able to turn both left and right and move slightly up and down. You got ball-like joints at the shoulders, allowing for a great range of motion there. Swivels above the elbow, as well as a single elbow bend, and a wrist swivel at the glove cut. You have waist articulation there that kind of rocks around, and you can see that the cables hanging down do not hinder that movement whatsoever. Uh, same with the harness that hangs on his legs. You can still move the legs forwards and backwards fine for a sitting pose inside of a cockpit, and the harness does not get in the way. Swivels above the knees, regular knee joints, and then swivels at the ankles as well as an ankle joint. So there is a lot of great motion on this figure, and none of the pieces that are actually worked into the costume, such as the harness or the cables, really hinder the movement at all. So for his accessories, Wedge includes a blaster. His hands are both sculpted with little trigger fingers on them, so you can fit the blaster in either one of his hands and he grips onto them very well. Then aside from the blaster, we have the essential piece to complete the uniform, which is the helmet. Now the helmet looks really great. It fits over his head very well and it's got a little chin strap that comes down uh, underneath his face there and he's even got the nice translucent orange visor over his eyes. And the painted detail on the helmet is also very nice with all the little intricacies and details painted all the way around the sides and across the top. So this is obviously essential if you're going to have your wedge inside of an actual X-Wing to pilot it. So there you go guys, there's a look at Wedge Antilles from the Vintage Collection. Of course, this is one of the more important secondary characters from the Star Wars universe, and I would say that this figure is probably the definitive version of him. So if you're looking to pick up a Wedge Antilles to add to your collection, why not head on over to www.pastgenerationtoys.com to check out their wide selection of Star Wars figures and much more. Until next time...